Good morning everybody. Today we will prove kinetic energy, potential energy as well as total energy associated with the Bohr's atomic model for the hydrogen atom when electron is revolving around the nucleus. Let me draw the Bohr's uh, circular path here. Okay. Let this is the path of electron, dear children. If electron is revolving in this path with some velocity v, and radius of this electron is supposed that r, and center there is a nucleus having charge z. All right. Now, what will we do? If suppose that this electron is revolving in this particular path, it means it has some mass and necessary centripetal force is provided by the electric force to revolve it. You can write as necessary centripetal force is provided by electric force. So I can write mv square upon r is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught. Okay. Uh, into Z e square. Z is the charge of nucleus into e. That is Z e square upon R square dear children. From this uh, R R will cancel out. We can calculate the value of R. R will be Z e square upon 4 pi epsilon naught into mv square. Okay, this is the value of r, which is important of us. Even we have already done this. All right. Now, if you want to calculate dear children, uh, I mean to say, velocity, when you can calculate over here, to replace the r, according to force quantization condition, according to Bohr's quantization condition. Photos Bohr's quantization condition, MBR must be equivalent to NH upon 2 pi. This is the main thing, dear children, in our orbit. Otherwise, this model is not valid. Okay, so be careful about it. Now, when you put the value of, when you want to calculate the value of V, that will be NH upon 2 pi m r. Now, substitute the value of r from our equation. We'll get velocity, even we already done this, okay? So that was, uh, what was this? Z e square upon, pi pi will cancel I, 2 f cell and naught. Uh, 2 f naught nh. This will be the velocity. This is the velocity, this is the radius. Two things we know. Now we can easily calculate the kinetic and potential energy, dear children. Let's see how to calculate the kinetic energy first. Kinetic energy of electron revolving around the nucleus. That is, suppose that half mv square. Okay. Half m, what is the value of v? Value of V was Z E square upon what was it? Z E square upon 2 F naught N H. This is H. 2 F L naught N H. Okay, square of that. Finally, dear children, formula of kinetic energy will get M Z square E raised to power 4. 4 divided by pi m. Now pi is not here. Pi is not here. Pi is not here. Only you can write 2 into 2, 4, 4 to 8. 8 epsilon naught square n square into h square. So this is the formula of kinetic energy, dear children. You have to remember. Okay. By the same way, we can calculate the potential energy so that we can compare them. Potential energy of the atom, we can write minus 
uh, 1 upon 4 pi s naught. That is the simple formula just like we did in electrostatics q1 q2 upon r. q1 q2 means here z d square upon r you already know this. Now 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into z d square put the value of r here. What was the value of r just go back r is z d square upon 4 pi s naught m b square. Okay, even you can replace the value uh, v m b square, uh, yeah, v square by this value also. Let's see what should the right answer for it. It would be uh, upon r, r and potential energy I can write over here that will be minus m if you put the value of m z square. Raised to power 4 divided by 4 f cell and out square h square n square. Okay, so directly you can put the value of r as well as v here. You will get this formula. Just remember, dear children, compare these two equations 1 and 2. Okay, I can write kinetic energy is what yesterday I told you that is negative of potential energy. Just see here, rest of the things as oh, half is there also because here it is 2, here it is oh, sorry, it's here. Okay, so this formula, even yesterday I told you comparison of this. Now, today we can add both these equations to get the total energy, dear children, total energy of the atom, total energy. of the atom. What is total energy? That is sum of kinetic energy plus potential energy. Add both, you will get uh, what was the kinetic energy and only difference of the half. No? It means this minus this. So that will be half only positive. Okay. So directly I can write here uh, minus mz square e4 upon 8 f cell n naught square h square n square this is the total energy dear children we get just compare all these just compare all these yesterday i told you how to deal with it what was the relation the total energy as well as potential energy kinetic energy all so that's why last time i told you shortcut way to understand it for the numerical that was this total energy could be minus 13.6 okay minus 13.6 upon n square electron volt dear children okay and even i told you last time that is uh, um, total kinetic energy is equal to minus total potential uh, total energy otherwise total potential energy is equal to twice of total energy Otherwise, Ep is equal to minus twice of Ep. So, these are the formula which we have to remember. Okay. Sorry, I think this is not proper formula. You can compare. Okay. So, these are the formula which we are getting from here. So, this is the energy we always remember for the atom at the ground state. N is the principal quantum number here. So, that is... 30 minus 13.6 electron volt n square. In ground state, you have to put the value of n1, then it will be 13.6 electron volt. Next state, you can put the 2, 3, 4, like that. Till the 6, you have to remember the calculation. Sometime direct formula you can apply to save your time. Now, next thing, dear children, we are going to discuss that is transition of electron. transition of electron. Suppose that this is the lower energy state and this is the higher energy state, dear children. I will write here. Lower energy state and this is higher energy state, which is called excited state. Higher energy state. Okay, uh, let's see 
what will happen when electron absorbs some energy dear children if electron absorbs some energy from any source that is h nu it get excited up okay it will reach at this higher energy level and that is called absorption it is called absorption spectra this is important term if it is coming down from the higher energy level to lower energy level it will also emit the light green energy h nu that is called emission spectra so atom consists two types of the transitions of electron one is whenever there is absorption spectrum emission another is emission spectrum when electron jumps from higher energy level to lower energy level it will emit the radiation that is called emission spectrum when it jumps from lower to higher it will absorb some energy first that is called absorption spectrum so that will happen and this spectrum can be not in the presence of light even any other way is also applied to do this there may be field emission when you apply the strong electrical thermal emission and the photoelectric emission yeah when uh, last series i told you in photoelectric effect what type of spectra were there but this is utilized here that's why i have noted over here now dear children main topic we are going to discuss today that is spectrum of hydrogen atom what kind of the spectra it will follow of hydrogen atom even you did in chemistry this thing even all last time i told you e i minus e final that will be h nu whole third postulate okay from this formula you can directly remember rydberg formula right work formula is 1 by lambda is equal to rh no need to prove it okay directly you have to remember 1 by nf square minus 1 by ni square this is right work formula or this rh is called right work's constant okay rh its value is approximately 1. 097 into 10 raised to the 7 per meter i mean to say this particular wavelength will tell you when emission of uh, emission of the radiation is taking place during the transition of electron what kind of the light is coming out what kind of the electromagnetic radiation is coming out that you should remember even this year it was asked in the ge exam so let's see what will we do so there are spectral series which we are going to do one by one very important spectral series of hydrogen atom so first of all i will put lemon series even you know all these things but even that. this is lemon by this way you can remember lemon balmer passion bracket p fun series okay along with that you have to remember shortcut also electromagnetic okay so these two radiation will be followed by all these this year it was asked okay lemon series it will follow ultraviolet radiation when light is coming out during the emission which light is coming out ultraviolet right balmer that is visible and all these have infrared radiation okay so this is the shortcut which can be asked in any exam from this particular area so this year it was the lemon series asked in the ge even in neat exam so many times these things were asked be careful now i am proving all these things but this is the shortcut trick to remember it lemon balmer passion bracket p fund ultraviolet visible infrared 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 okay this is the sequence dear children sequence don't forget lemon balmer passion bracket p fund okay you can make any rhythm method to remember this that's up to you i have made so so many methods but the, you can remember it by the any way that's up to you now 
Diamond series I want to calculate first. In this series, what will happen, dear children? Basically, there are so many energy levels. Okay, I'll show you in the NCRT so that you can easily understand it. No, no problem. Later on, you can see it. Now, this is n is equal to 1, n is equal to 2, n is equal to 3, so on till infinity values of n are there. Okay. And what will happen? Electron can jump from this to this level, this to this level, this to this level. Suppose that electrons are jumping in the first orbit from all the, I mean to say, labels. Okay, then I can say finally it is reaching at 1. What should the value of n final, dear children? n final should be 1. What should the value of n initial for that formula, lemon, uh, red work formula, 1 by lambda is equal to rh, 1 upon n final square, okay, minus n initial square. n final means the final position of electron in which orbit it is, in which energy level it is reaching. Ni means from where it is coming in the final state. It can come from 2, it can come from 3, it can come from 4, so on n. I mean to say Ni may be 2, 3, so on till infinity. Okay? So, by this way you can calculate dear children. But one thing you have to remember here, if you want to calculate the maximum wavelength, because we want to calculate the range, when you know the range of the wavelength, then we will check in which spectra it will lie ultraviolet, visible, infrared, then we could only conclude, conclude it. Lambda maximum, I can write RH is constant. What should the final one? Final it is coming at 1. I can write 1 square. Minus, if you are taking the maximum, initially it should from the infinity for the maximum, remember. So Ni, I will put the infinity here, so square of infinity. That will be 0. And when you calculate the maximum wavelength, dear children, of this transition, okay, so that will be 1 to 1 to angstrom calculated. By the same manner, minimum wavelength is calculated. How will you calculate the minimum wavelength? Oh, sorry. It is the minimum wavelength. Sorry, sorry, sorry. By mistake, I have written the maximum. This is the minimum wavelength. Even value I have written wrong. Wait. Minimum means when it is coming from infinity, that is called minimum, dear children. So it is coming 912 one strong. Okay, remember. One more, if you want to calculate the. Sorry, 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 sorry. Make it minimum. The minimum wavelength first. Okay, don't forget, we want to calculate the range in every spectrum. So, I mean to say, what should the maximum wavelength be, children? Maximum wavelength, how will you calculate? 1 by lambda is equal to Rh. 1 by n final is 1 square, n initial is 2 square. It should come from 2 to first. Then you will get the maximum. When it is coming from infinity, that will be minimum. And when you calculate this formula, dear children, that is, I already told you, 1 to 1 to Armstrong. Then they concluded if minimum wavelength is 912 angstrom and maximum wavelength, dear children, that will be 1 to 1 to angstrom. Then it was calculated in which spectra this wavelength range will be lying. It was lying in, I mean to say, ultraviolet region. Same wavelength as the ultraviolet radiation. That's why it was concluded that a region in which lie this lemon series that is called ultraviolet region. One more thing, dear children, you have to remember here. Lemon series will follow both emission and absorption spectra. This is the only series which will follow emission and absorption. Absorption spectra. Be careful about it. Most of the time it is asked. Spectra. Okay. All right. Now, we will do another formula also. What is another formula? Second series we are going to discuss. What is that series? 
that is Palmer series. Palmer series is so much important for CBSE board exam. Okay, so many questions till the date they have asked from here. The Palmer series date, children. Palmer series. What will happen here? One by lambda. One by lambda is sometimes called angular wave number if it is required. Okay, but here only one by lambda we need. R H. By the same manner, dear children, one upon. Uh, it is finally coming. If you have so many energy level, and this is n is equal to one, it is n is equal to two. Now it will coming at two from any level. Okay, till infinity you can say. So final state and final square and initial square, dear children. So final state is two here, whatever will be the condition. For the, I mean to say, maximum wavelength, you can do the same thing which I have told you in the first one. I'm writing directly. Maximum wavelength you are getting here, dear children, 6563 angstrom. And minimum wavelength you will get here that will be minimum means transition from infinity to two. Okay, so that is coming three six four six Armstrong. When it was tested in which region it is live, that region was visible. I mean to say it will emit the visible light. This wavelength lying under the region of visible light. I mean to say visible spectrum. This you should remember. Okay. Now, one more thing they can ask from this particular uh, Balmer series that is, there are some lines, lines shown by this kind of the spectra. So, four lines, these are important for CBSC. What are these four lines? These are called sometimes right red line, right red line, H alpha, H beta, and uh, H gamma, and H delta. Okay, you should remember very important. 6569 Armstrong H alpha. It means it will emit the red light. Because in visible, in visible, dear children, there were seven colors. Out of that, which color will be emitting when this is called H alpha? And in H beta, that is 4869 Armstrong, it will emit the blue color. And H gamma, that is 43. 40 Armstrong, it will emit indigo and H delta finally 4101 Armstrong that is valid. Okay, this is important area, be careful. They will ask from you if H alpha is this emit the red color in which series it will lie, it will lie under Balmer series. Okay, and the uh, rest of the all spectra, dear children, all series, Bastian, Balmer, P1, they will only follow, they will only follow emission spectra. Emission spectra, okay. Uh, rest of Bastian and the P1 series. And bracket series, whatever. All will follow what? infrared region and emission spectrum. This only remember. You know you did in the chemistry also. Rest of the series you can do by yourself. Okay, no need to write each and everything here because you already know. Even its diagram from NCRT, this type of the diagram, you must see once. Okay, transition, transition like this. Where it is Valmer, where it is Bastian, where is it like that. This kind of the diagram you can draw from the NCRT, just for the information, okay, only very short question they will ask from you in this area because that is also the part of chemistry. Now, most awaited topic which we want to discuss that is how de Broglie justify or uh, proved MBR is equal to NH by 2 pi, which is whole second postulate. Okay, this question is asked so many times in CBSE exam, dear children. So, this is most important topic. This topic is not the part of any book, okay? So this is explained in NCRT at the middle of the paragraph, but I have made this question here. And it is important fact which we are going to discuss here. That is force quantization 
and second possible, whatever you call it. Force quantization. Or you can say force second postulate. Postulates and de Broglie's explanation. Explanation. Okay, I'm just making the title here. Even in exam, it can be asked by any way, any indirect way. They can ask you, how will you explain that? Orbit of the electron around the nucleus having momentum nh by 2 pi. How will you justify that? Okay. They will not take the name of Wolf quantization, de Broglie. So you can do by yourself. But if they are asking directly, explain whole second postulate by uh, how de Broglie explained the whole second postulate, how de Broglie justified the whole second postulate, if it is like, okay, then you can do directly. According to de Broglie, for the stationary orbit or the orbit here where electron is emitting, uh, sorry, electron is uh, permitted to move without emission of the light, that having momentum nh upon 2 pi. But why? That reason was not given by the Bohr. After 9 years, it was given by the de Broglie. How de Broglie justified it? De Broglie took uh, a nucleus, simple model. Okay. And I'm just drawing over here. Just think. Okay, let this is the orbit. And according to Dave Rogli, what will happen there? Okay, it will follow just like a station, analog of the stationary wave. How? Like this. You know stationary wave? I will tell you, no problem. Oh, sorry. The stationary wave. What is stationary wave? When two waves, coherent waves, superimpose each other coming from the opposite side, then what will happen? Just see in plus one standard what we did. We did this thing. Nodes or anti nodes are formed. In stationary wave, nodes or anti nodes are formed by the same manner. Same manner, dear children. According to Dave Rugley, stationary wave is formed by this way. So many nodes or anti nodes will be formed here. Alright. So where is node when amplitude is zero? Where is anti node when amplitude is maximum? Let this orbit which I have drawn the dotted line, this is the stationary orbit where electron is moving without emitting the radiation. Let this radius is R. Okay. Now, what is the explanation of de Broglie dear children? I want to explain that here. I will remove this whole part yeah i hope you have done this all right see now what was the explanation you can write after 10 year or 9 year whatever 10 years de Broglie explained Explained it. Explained it. Assumed analog when string is plucked because stationary wave is only meant for string or organ pipe. Okay, string is plucked. vast number of number of wavelengths wavelengths are excited excited only those wavelengths
those wavelengths survive survive which have nodes at ends okay this is the main idea given by the de broglie nodes at end means these points he is talking about these points when you join these points dear children orbit is formed around the nucleus okay like this this orbit is formed by the nodes only just see now we can write over here it means in a string standing wave standing or stationary whatever you call standing wave is formed is formed when total length what should the total length be children total length must be equal to n lambda because n number of uh, nodes are formed integral multiple of lambda okay and n we can write n is here 1 2 3 so on what is total length of this circular path which is formed here if radius is r that is 2 pi r dear children i can write 2 pi r is equal to n lambda directly this is for the nth orbit suppose that i can write r n is equal to n lambda upon 2 pi simply after that use the de broglie's concept according to de broglie de broglie wavelength i can write by this way that will be lambda is equal to h upon p we did last time this thing or h upon p means h upon mb now you can easily calculate dear children here when you put the value of lambda what should the value of lambda i can write rn is equal to n lambda is h upon 2 pi mb now take mb this side what you are getting dear children that will be mb rn is equal to n h upon 2 pi this is the master proof which was given by de broglie very very important and n is principal quantum number here be careful about it and de broglie was awarded by nobel prize in 1923 to do this small calculation or small justification of what of this fact okay some points you have to remember dear children first point if you want to calculate the number of spectral lines even these formulas are given in chemistry also spectral lines then formula will be n into n minus 1 it can be proved by mathematics upon 2 this is the simple formula okay one more formula you have to remember here uh, this formula sorry this formula is only applicable dear children when electrons fall from nth state to ground state i mean to say nth state to ground ground means n is equal to 1 then this formula is used to calculate the number of lines but when it is suppose that its transition is going from n to any n1 any one okay so then number of uh, lines will be what n2 minus n1 into n2 minus n1 plus 1 direct formula you have to remember in both chemistry or physics one more third point you have to remember for this that is number of absorp absorptional spectral line absorption absorption lines that is always n minus 1 that is only happened in case of the lehman series because in others absorption is not possible to be careful about it after that dear children you have limitations of the bose theory i am just explaining orally what are, what is the limitation of bose theory only for the electron uh, 